Unfortunate lang na sa ganitong paraan tayo. Oo nga, nagkita ulit. Oo. But I'm happy to see all of you. <laughs> Familiar ba? faces. I missed you. At uh, katulad nga ng sabi ko kanina sa'yo na it's unfortunate that um, I'm facing and being in front of the camera this way in Makati Court of all places. So it's very unfortunate and my heart's broken about it. Uh, but through the help of Attorney Garrett Tungkol, um, we've got in here and we filed a case for what we thought was very necessary. Kwentuhan mo kami kung kung bakit uh, um and what was the last straw ng pagdidemanda mo? Mm -mm. Kasi ilang beses din talaga kami nag-reach out. Actually, even before I sought the legal counsel no of attorney, kahit ako mismo personally ilang beses na ako nag-reach out sa kanila at pati mga tao namin um numerous times talaga na kinausap sila ng maayos no? uh, and parang they were not willing to negotiate and they did not respond to us kaya humingi na ako ng tulong kay attorney um, actually alam nyo naman I think I invited some of you to the opening of this uh, said business no? and we opened actually a week before the pandemic so, isipin nyo yung talagang, sabi nga ni BTS, blood, sweat, and tears that went into this business. 
dahil sa pandemic, no? Lahat naman ng FND nag-suffer. But I'm very very proud of my team and my um, and my people dahil we survived the pandemic and we came this far at uh, you know, we I was not actually looking into selling the business. Actually sila ang sila ang lumapit, no? And um, it just came to a point where in hindi nila and no longer sila willing to fulfill their end of the deal. And so it's been six months since the deadline. So isipin nyo rin, talaga yung six months na yan was very, very stressful for me also and my staff. That's why we've seek the best counsel that I could get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rewind lang tayo. Anong pinag-uusapan nating negosyo dito, Grace? We can mention. We can mention the name of the. Uh, at saka ano yung nangyari uh -huh. para lang ma malinaw and ma ma makuha ng uh -huh. mga tao yung na maintindihan nila. So, ang negosyo ito ay Shanghai Saloon. So, meron akong dalawang location. No? And uh, itong mag-ama na ito, can I mention their names? Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So, Michael Say and Mr. Morgan Say, actually, their father and son, um, used to come to our restaurant and they seemed very nice. Actually, more than nice. They were very, very nice people to us, and I trusted them completely. So I learned the lesson the hard way, no? And sila pa ang lumapit sa amin, sa akin personally. Actually, sa staff ko muna, and they asked for uh, my staff to introduce me to them as the owner, uh, pakilala sa akin, at uh, maayos naman, and they wanted to purchase the restaurant. So dun ko sila nakilala at ganun nagsimula ang aming negosasyon. It's just that, towards the end, um, they were not the same people that I thought they were. Mm -hmm. okay. So, ano po yung ipinaglalaban niyo po dito? Ano po yung mga kasong isinakpa po ninyo? So, we've officially filed. Well, uh, I think I'm in the best position to enter as your counsel. No? Uh, we have filed cases for other deceits against the opposing party. We are also alleging that there are misrepresentations on their part from the very start of the contract. From the transactions, they have misrepresented our client, they have misrepresented facts to our client. And even in the course of negotiations, there have also been misrepresentations in order to delay payment. Uh, it's not a simple collection suit. Uh, what we're after here is the fact that there was fraud constituted against our client. Mm -hmm. Attorney, can you tell us how much the claim is? That's something that we're not focused on. Uh, the claim here is immaterial to us. It's the fraud that we're going after. Uh, the claim can always be earned back. But when it comes to a criminal case, our focus really is, of course, to pursue the fraud committed against our client. But this does not bar Ms. Grace Lee from filing any other civil action in order to recoup the costs. But as you can see, my client's focus really is to vindicate herself against the fraud committed against mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Attorney, I'm sorry, what is the prayer complaint? Natin? As with all criminal cases, the only prayer here is that the, the prosecutor first finds probable cause that a crime has been committed against my client, that a warrant will be issued, and then when it comes to court, there's a finding of guilt beyond reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. Attorney, when you say fraud, sa paano paraan po nagkaroon ng fraud? On, on Those are matters alleged in the complaint, and I would like to avoid uh, violating the rules of subject. Mm -hmm. But in general terms, no, there was fraud in, from the very start of the negotiations, entering into the purchase of Shanghai Salud. And then also when it comes to the time to pay, uh, there were some stipulations in the contract that were clearly uh, not reflective of their real intent. Mm. From this part, wala po silang naibigay? That's something alleged again in the complaint. No? Uh, it's up for dispute. Uh, it's a matter of facts to be proved before the court. No? Uh, I should not use any other media to determine the truth or falsity of the facts that we're alleging. So sorry, sub judice again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grace, hindi ka ba gumawa ng paraan? Ikaw mismo, personally, na kinausap mo sila before dumating ang uh, punto ng dimandahan. Of hindi course. ba nagkaroon ng negotiation before? Of course. Uh, I tried my best, even my staff. Together with my staff, I visited their office several times. I reached out to them several times also. Kahit yung staff ko, nakiusap na sa staff nila. Pero, you know, at, at a certain point, I really felt insulted. Um, I, I, I think that they were dealing with a single woman representing a, a company, no? And I was faced with actually the two of them, Mr. Michael Say and Mr. Morgan Say. And at a certain point, naramdaman ko talaga 
na they were disrespecting me already and even my staff. Uh, and that's when I thought to myself, ah, hindi ito isang kaso na kaya ko handle on my own, but I need legal counsel already. So that's when I sought attorney's help. Tinsirain mong bawiin yung restaurant. Well, uh, right now, no, again, we're filing a criminal case in pagbawi ng restaurant. That's a whole other matter. Uh, the only thing we're pursuing, again, is vindication for what has been committed against my client. Uh, yung restaurant, that's a secondary matter for my client. Uh, we will see later. Uh, I don't know kung natrambahan lang naman. Uh, if we will ever file a civil suit for this or a corporate dispute or anything relating to that matter. So, possible na magkaroon pa ng iba pang pagpa-file po? Pala. It's a possibility, but it's not a priority at this time. Okay. So, maliwanag, isang diretsyong tanong, Grace. Uh, inagaw o kinuha ang uh, restaurant mo ng, sa paraang hindi sila nagbayad sa kung magkano ang dapat na pagkakasuntuhan. Tama po yun. Uh, marami, po silang, uh, marami po silang mga dahilan, no? Uh, one of the lessons I learned here really is, you know, I shouldn't have trusted them too much. No? But uh, this is something new to me also because never kasi ako nagbenta ng negosyo and, you know, they were our customers for a while. They seemed like really nice people. So it's a lesson learned um, uh, and uh, it's unfortunate talaga na umabot sa ganito. But um, I've, I've learned so many things. Um, it's just unfortunate that it has come to this talaga. May pirmahan ba kayo na ginawa during the time ng ibenta mo sa kanila yung restaurant? So, nabayaran ba ng diretsyo? Hindi, di ba? Opo. So, uh, basically, hindi po talaga nila sinundan kung anuman ang agreement namin doon sa contract. And so, nandito tayo ngayon. So, I had no other option. This was really our last option. And attorney knows this, no? Uh, we really wanted to negotiate up until the very end. And even attorney tried to talk to them talagang hindi sila responsive and very uh, irresponsible and they were evading their responsibility no? at uh, you know i just wanted to um, to express no how sad i am because pinakirapan ko talaga itong negosyo na to imagine niyo one week before the pandemic lockdown nag nag opening ceremony kami so imagine yung 3 years na hirap namin ng staff ko hirap ko hirap ng fam, uh, family and and my office also just to sustain the business actually um, last year no last year before sila lumapit sa akin para bilhin yung restaurant actually may lumapit din sa akin na loyal customer namin na oh grace finally natapos na rin ang problema mo i'm so happy that you survived the pandemic you know because we love your restaurant we love your food we love your concept so i was in a very good place already yun pala only god knows when the problem finishes no so, here we are. Okay naman pala ang restaurant. Bakit naibenta ko siya? Um, marami kasi ako mga ibang negosyo din na tinututukan ngayon. Uh, beauty business, etc. And so, um, I felt, no, them being Chinese, that they might actually be able to run this business better mm -hmm. and to be able to promote Shanghai Salon into a bigger brand. Actually, para sa akin, I really wanted Shanghai Salon to grow and flourish and become a household name when it comes to Chinese food. At naramdaman ko rin na may limitasyon pag ako ang uh, nagpapatakbo ng negosyong to. So, them being Chinese and being businessmen, um, I really gave that credit to them na baka Shanghai Saloon will flourish and become better brand under their uh, company. Miss Grace, may possibility ba na magkaroon ng comfortable settlement after nitong pagpa-file nyo ng case at lumapit sila sa inyo? Well, it's a mediatable offense naman. Uh, to say that there's no possibility would, to say, would be to say na walang ganun sa rules natin. Of course, it's a possibility, but only because it's, it's an available remedy for them. Uh, as far as our direction goes, uh, we filed this case to really get the conviction. Thank you. Ms. Grace, question. Since wala na ako kayong planong bumalik sa host, hosting, hosting uh, sa Angkor, <laughs> balik tayo. Tingnan po natin. Pag natapos na tong kasong to, ah, okay. we will revisit that. Okay. Miss Grace, last question ko. Yes. Uh, first time mo bang magkaroon ng ganitong problema sa inyo? Yes, po. Talaga. At anong nararamdaman ng ngayon? Kinakabahan talaga ako. Actually, last night, hindi ako nakatulog. As in, just the fact that I had to come to court, file a case, and that may kaaway ako. Yung ganong 
yung ganong stress ba? Uh, it's something new. Actually, kausap ko ang uh, mom ko kaha kagabi. Kasi my mom is really my best friend. No? And nung, nag, nung college student pa ako, I took up pre-law kasi, uh, which was political science. Actually, halos lahat ng mga blockmates ko ngayon are lawyers and some of them judges already. Ano mo, sabi ko sa nani ko talaga, Mom, alam mo, buti na lang, hindi na ako nag-lawyer. Sabi mo ko, bakit? Alam mo, isang kaso lang to ha. Stress na stress na ako. <laughs> so sabi ko, baka namatay ako sa stress pag naging lawyer ako. <laughs> so I guess, you know, God has His uh, will and intention for all of us. And I, I think there's a reason why I didn't become a lawyer. <laughs> I'm too sensitive to these things. Miss <laughs> Grace, <laughs> since first time mong humarap sa ganitong problema, hindi ka ba natakot for yourself? Mm, na- nakakatakot? Not really. Uh, actually, you know, one thing I realized through this whole endeavor is ang daming willing at gustong tumulong sa akin. Even meeting attorney was not a faithful uh, endeavor. It was through an introduction of, of, of a friend na, uh, who wanted to help me. At hindi lang yun, nalaman ko pa na you're the son in of my oh, co-worker yeah. before. So talaga, everything really came into place and I really felt na God was showing me that, hey, you know, I'll help you. Here are the people I'm sending to you to help you. And I feel blessed. Even even despite na ganito ang nangyayari, I really truly feel blessed. Mm-hmm. Like ko lang po. Talk. Message po dun sa mga fans po ninyo na nagtatanong kung kailan kayo babalik, kailan kayo <laughs> uling makikita, at kinukumusta kayo. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, I'm sorry to be greeting you in this uh, environment, no? But uh, you know that I've been behind the camera lately doing production uh, and distribution of Korean content. So, uh, medyo busy po muna ako being behind the camera. But soon enough, I will greet you again in front of the camera. Malay nyo, mag Korean telenovela ko. Diba? <laughs> Hindi natin alam niya. You never know. At 40, I'll change my career. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.